This is Jason from Wood Camp Farm. We're out here on Packing Shaking Day with the Packing Shaking volunteer crew in Mount Airy, Maryland. I'm gonna flip around so you can meet everybody real quick and then we will show you how we shake packages up here. All right, Storm. Where are you from, Storm? Oh, from Bowie. <laughs> and what do you do? At Stormy with... Acre Beef Farm. And you're also a Maryland State Maryland inspector? Maryland State Bee Inspector. So if I do anything wrong, Storm's gonna take me to bee jail. Yep. Hi, Dave from Howard County, working on my master beekeeper, and um, I've got a bunch of hives in Marriottsville. All right, I'm gonna go around you to Gimpy. Yeah, Gimpy. Gerald from Winchester, Pike Saper. Had knee surgery last week, but he's here, or was it this week? That, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, but he's here anyway. We let him give him All something like to you. lean on. Andrew Lishik, uh, beekeeping hobbyist from Skaggsville. Jacob from Wood Camp Farm. Aaron Tressler, Liberty Town, Maryland. Carpenter. Yeah, we got we got all the demographics. Carpenter, college student, chemist, UPS. College professor and businessman. Retiree. Of from where? Both Marine Corps and Department of Defense. Two military men. We're up. Right. All right, so go we're going to go ahead and get uh, into Marine it. Corps, number one. Um, while they're Be breaking into though. some hives. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and goofing off, I'll show you what we're gonna do. They're gonna break in. There's excluders in. Nothing over the top. Of, no queen over the top of them. Queen's down at the bottom, but we're shaking from both because the boxes aren't necessarily full of bees over over uh, the excluder. They're gonna bring them over here. If they go in, okay, lie. There's plenty of bees up there. Um, when we don't have to worry about looking for the queen, we take this uh, metal box out and they. Go down the slide into this basket. Basket's down there. Um, if we're looking for the queen, this basket will set in there. This is pretty loud. Sounds violent, but it takes a while to even get them to go out of there. You're good. You're good. Amusement park. Um, fellas, we're, we're, we're gonna be we're gonna be quick on this one. Um, we cannot let. So the reason I'm saying this to them is that basket. Once it gets four or five inches full, that's as many bees as should go in there. Because if it gets too heavy, they start suffocating each other. So we'll go ahead and move on to the next step while they're searching for queens, so that we can shake the brood nest. And I'm videoing with my glove on hand. I pay for that shortly. Um, all right, so we're gonna bring this over. Tress, can you come with him? So the next thing we do is shake him into this pot. This pot is sitting on a scale. We turn on and tear. All right, should be good to go. We do this and wash the scale. You're over three, that's okay. 3.4. So these are supposed to be three pound packages, so we always do three point something. No? Yeah. We'll take these back home and we'll put the queens in. We don't do that here. We could, but we're not today. There's a package. Point nine, two point two, three, six, seven, eight. A little ways to go. Three point three, three point two, good. So he's 
just got a couple more in there. We'll go back over to where they're finding queens. Everybody's being quiet because I got the video on, but there's usually a lot of trash talking about who finds the queens first. Yeah, we haven't but I, I guess they're bored because I always find the queens first, and I'm not finding queens right now. We're playing a game called I Can Find That Queen on Three Frames. Or not. Or the ten. <laughs> the nice part about the shaker box that we use is we'll go through these once or maybe twice, and if we don't find the queen, then we put them through the box that has the uh, basket with the cleaning scooter in it that way no queens go into the packages that we make let's say probably seven out of ten times when people get a package from from whomever and you have a dead queen hanging in the cage that's because it ended up being a uh, queen shook from the parent hive so you have two queens in there and they reject there's a queen loose in the package and a queen in the cage and they reject the queen in the cage And where we could get bit by that and we already saw once or twice storm you found two queens in one hive today didn't you not paying any attention storm you found two queens in one hive today yes. yeah so he caught that thankfully but if we find a queen and get confident and just start shaking then there's a second queen in there then we could wind up in that position Where's Waldo? <laughs> we need good camera footage. Somebody find a queen. I'm looking, I'm looking. All right. The chemist. Uh, can't see with a glare. Hang on, I still haven't even totally confirmed. I got her. Point to her with your finger because I'm looking through the lens. Right there. All right, thank you. Oh, yeah, now I can see it through the lens. So this is more of an Italian queen than we have here. So what we'll do is set her back in and leave. There's a lot of bees in the air at this point, so we had been leaving four this morning because there was more in the hive and less in the air, but now that there's so many in the air, we're only leaving three, and this will be swarm control. Most of the bees from that hive will get shook out. So here's an emergency queen cell, and you can tell because it's on the side of the frame, and they built that as insurance. Move that way, you're in the center, or is it better with that? There are eggs and larvae in there. Um, mm -hmm. We're gonna check right now. Oh. So, yep, that was a juicy one. That's all that royal jelly. Take that and put it on your face. So we'll just keep working down the line. All right, gentlemen, what we got here? Why don't we start with Gerald's because he hasn't found his queen yet. So leave the leave the basket in, and we'll we'll go through his and show one where the queen has not been found and see if we can find her in the basket. Do you have eggs and larvae? Uh, yeah. Okay. So with these, to keep them from flying out too much, sometimes we just take an excluder in between shakes. Why don't we do the in-between? Alright. That one right there, Andrew already found the queen over there, so you can, yeah, so we can lift the... This? You found it? No, the hive next to you. 
So this one we don't have to worry about brake shaking through these scooters, so we'll lift the basket out. That way we can not be stuck on one hot. Oh, we got Kaplan's in that one? Yeah, a lot of them. This one here had a uh, fresh, fresh one that just popped loose. We might not want them. Yeah, so that's, that's the nice thing about this basket. Is if we were shaking and we didn't have this basket, and we ran into something that was swarmy, and there's versions running around that you don't see, or you just don't know. Running through this, you don't have anything go through bad that can mess up the package. We don't spend time getting to every single get down to that amount and just toss them back in the hive and everything that's in the package is good and it could be troubles back in the hive. I'm sure somebody watches this and think that this is uh, too aggressive and too bouncy on the hive or on the bees. Very few dead bees hurt bees. No dead bees on the bottom of the packages. So you did? I'm good too. and shake all those and not look back. So anyway, rinse and repeat and then repeat and repeat and repeat we've done i think we hit over 100 a little bit ago that are in the cattle trailer the trailer's nice it keeps them out of the sun don't have to worry about strapping things down and we're only four miles away from our farm These are all done. We got a few more there. I want to go back home and get a couple more before we finish up today. Oh. So that's it.